<laughs> Holy shit. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today's gonna to be a slow start. Let me set the scene. Last night, I got in at 20 past 11 in the afternoon. Bear in, look at the weather. What is going on? It was beautiful yesterday. Anyway, going back to setting the scene, it was 20 past 11 that I got in. Then I realized that I was up so early. Seven o'clock, so I was up at about half past six today. So I needed to edit yesterday's vlog last night before I went to bed. As I went to bed, I realized watching the vlog back that I also had to edit the Auto Trader teaser that you would have seen yesterday. So I had to edit two videos last night at 20 past 11. So I apologize if there's any mistakes. I got to bed at around half past one in the morning, giving myself five hours sleep to get ready for today. And I can't believe the weather has changed so much. It's still warm, it's still 16 degrees at seven o'clock in the morning. And I felt the sort of humid, muggy temperature as I left the house. But as I'm on my way to the motorway and the traffic isn't looking too bad, I'm not sure what opportunities I am gonna to get to vlog. So I will make a quick announcement early on in this vlog at quarter past seven in the morning that on Sunday, which when you're watching this is tomorrow, I'm gonna be heading down to Wilton House in my Audi R8, which I cannot wait about. For the last five, six years, I've been going down to Wilton House. It's always a fantastic event. Well, I think this journey around the M25 has been a lot more enjoyable for you guys watching. Having skipped out about an hour of it, I've suddenly got out of traffic, thank my Lord. M25, Friday in the morning, you are not gonna get a smooth run, so we've done quite well. We haven't done well at all actually. I'm just so tired I can't really work out what I'm talking about. That was the quickest M25 journey in history on the, in <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> I skipped so much because there's yeah. so much traffic. And we're back with Jonathan and we're heading down to Goodwood. And he's got his new car. I saw, I saw all the comments. I think one or two people got it right. But, uh... Here it is, the Maserati Gran Turismo S MC Shift. And we're in the MC mode at the moment. In MC mode. In front of a one series, so. Yeah. Fortunately. But it's got a great tone. This is one of my, one of the best sounding stock cars. So I'm gonna film as much as I can on both my video camera and on this for the vlog. <laughs> Just to do the main briefing so you get a chance to sort of see what, uh, what's going to happen out on the circuit, how it all works. So these are the 4x4 cars, and the M3's gone. They've got the M performance cars, which you'll get to drive on the track. And then there's also a skid pan as well. There's the M5, there's M4, M6, and an M3, and a few minis as well. But to be honest, I prefer to just drive the um, BMWs. First up is the skid pan with the M3. And there goes a the plane. Jonathan's done two, then I went out and did three. The second one was almost, almost. Now Jonathan's going out for one final thing before we go back over to the track. Let's see how he does. This is so much fun. The good thing is you always, well, every single one of us, well, every single time has spun out there. And then we kind of get it to grip right at the end. And you do that. Wow. That was good. I hope I caught that. That was a good one. Oh, oh he almost had it. 
little bit of throttle to get it to break away. Catch the slide, catch it quick with the steering. What's it power, power, feed the power in. Yeah! <laughs> First one on camera inside. <laughs> bit of power. Catch it. Not too much power. Ah. <laughs> That wasn't bad. That was good, the one before, yeah. excellent. Go on. Yes. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that was so close. Oh. <laughs> that was good. This is hilarious, this is so much fun. Go on. Go on. All right, coming down. Me and Eduardo are late for nursery. I'm like, oh no, it's raining. How am I going to get into school on time? I know what I'll do. Shortcut. <laughs> Down the Surrey bypass. Ease it in. Bit of power. What happened? That's what I did. <laughs> on the stair. Just coming a little bit too quick. I was warming up the brakes. Warming up the brakes. Warming up the, the front tire. Was it? So, dip in. Watch it. Sorry kids, <laughs> we're, we're late. <laughs> <laughs> Right, my head is squashed in the helmet and I'm about to drive the BMW M6 around the Goodwood circuit, which I am very excited about and I'll catch up in a bit. First driving experience on the track done. It was nice. M5, M6, how did you find it? I actually broke a world record. Did you? Slowest man ever to go around the track. <laughs> I was about to say, did you beat the lap record? <laughs> Some guy in an M6 flew past me. I was like, what's even going on here? I was like, ah, we're just gonna let this guy go past. He's a bit of a, a, bit of a troublemaker. Okay, yep, yeah, perfect. You comfortable? I am comfortable. M5, time to drive the M5. And Jonathan has gone in the Mini, which um, is surprising, but I think he just wants to thrash car. Here he goes. <laughs> so we're in the pits one last time, and it is time to test out the BMW M4. So we've done the M6, M5, M4. I almost think Jonathan is going back in the Mini. Unfortunately, we can't film this, or I can't get the instructor to film, because he's um, obviously instructing me and making sure that I'm driving well, and he's got the brake pedal as well, in case he needs to, but he won't need to. Touch wood. Sorry, one last So I've tried the M4, M5, M6. Now it's time to get shown how it's done <laughs> with a hot lap around the Goodwood circuit. Jonathan's going in the Mini for a hot lap. <laughs> it's in the bonnet. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I think I was soft on the brakes. Lunch has been completed and now you can see the X5 there. We're about to do the 4x4 challenge which is the 12,000 acre Goodwood Forest and Chalk Pit which is like 55, 55 degree... Yeah, I think, whatever. There's, I think there's alligators in it. Alligators, fire... Fire, it's on fire, it's optional. We, we opted for the fire package. Yeah. <laughs> 
and we're all going to try and get air. I think the yeah, idea yeah, is, yeah. now that we've heard that we could get air, we, we're all going to try and get air. <laughs> so these are the X5s, and um, the first group that came back, came back filthy. And you can see why. We're going off-roading. Straight up. That's it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's what it feels like. <laughs> nice. I think... Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Now, most people get stuck almost at the top of a hill because what happens, they kind of ease the power from they've nearly made it. Yeah, and then and you realise that's the hardest bit. Power now, the impossible club. A little bit more power. Whoa! Uh-oh. 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 U